I hope you've been keeping up with your fitness while I've been gone. We just wrapped up the 2013 Fit and Fabulous Mom Contest and it was a huge success. You can go check that out on my website, lauralondonfitness.com. But right now, are you ready to get your sexy on? All right, this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some bands, an exercise ball, a stability ball, some weight, energy, and let's get rocking and rolling. All right, everybody, I've got a four circuit workout for you. We're just gonna work that whole body. First thing we're gonna be doing is a wall squat with an overhead shoulder press. We're gonna be doing side lunges and then we're gonna be doing some high knees. So what I need for you to do is grab your stability ball. Here's mine. Look, mine is funny. It's shaped like a, a peanut. Sometimes they're round, sometimes you can have them shaped like a peanut. We won't go there. Okay, so we're gonna put the stability ball behind our back. Whoa, my weight is on top of my band. Okay, what I want you to do, always warm up for a good five to 10 minutes before you start any exercise routine. All right, we're gonna be working our lower body and our shoulders right now. The number today is 15. We're gonna be squatting and overhead shoulder press. Okay, ready, here we go. One, two, Three, squatting as deep as you can go for your ability level, overhead shoulder press. If you don't have bands, you can use a set of weights, okay? You know I have no clue what number we're on, so we're gonna say six, seven, good, eight, nine, ten, we're gonna do five more. I let my my staff <laughs> go, so I'm filming myself today. They worked so hard during the Fin Fabulous Mom Contest, I had to give them a day off. Give me one more, everybody. Bam, okay. Warming up that body. Throw your stability ball to the side. Now what I want you to do is grab a set of weights and we're gonna lunge to the side. I'm gonna fix the camera, I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna go to a squat with a side kick now. So, grab those weights, all right? We're gonna put our feet about hip width apart. We are squatting down, side kick. We're gonna put the weights in front of us. Side, side kick, squat, side kick. All right, ready, here we go. One, two, three, you got it. Four, five, come on, I missed you guys so much. Six, seven, we gotta work it. Eight, we gotta make up for lost time. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right, throw those weights down. I've got my gym boss timer here. We're going 30 second high knees. Ready? Here we go. All right, this is what we're doing for 30 seconds, everybody. Keep it going. Do the best you can do. We're getting in some cardio right now. I'll back it up so you can see me. Keep those knees up as high as you can. Just keep moving, all right? Keep it moving. This is our first circuit. I promise I set the timer. Yes, all right, awesome. That's circuit number one, you're gonna do it two more times for a total of three times, and then moving on to the next circuit. I'll see you there. Okay, we're gonna do a chest press now. Grab your bands, I have to move because I need to be able to wrap my bands around something. So look at that, find something that you can wrap your bands around. Oh, I'm coming really close to the camera. All right, we're gonna do a chest press. Elbows are up high through this whole movement. You can see my feet, they're in a staggered stance, one behind the other, and we're gonna push forward. One, two, awesome, three, four. Keep those elbows high, five, 
six, make sure you have tension on the band, seven, eight, nine, 10, keep it going, 11, 12, 13, I forget to look in the camera sometimes, 14, 15, come on, we're gonna do 20, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Awesome, did you keep those elbows up high the whole time? I know you did. All right, take your band off, and we're gonna do a reverse lunge with an overhead shoulder press. Okay, you guys are getting a full view of my house, a tour of my house today. We're gonna do a rear lunge with an overhead shoulder press. Put your foot on the bands, our palms are facing forward. We're gonna lunge back, and as we come up, we're gonna press up. So it's a step back, push up. Step back, push up. All right, we're gonna do 15 on each side. You got two sides, let's go. One, two, three. Feel that stretch in your abs. Four, lift those bands up all the way. Five, six, good. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, keep it going, fourteen, and fifteen. Let's quickly change sides. Do it again. One, two, oh, feel those shoulders. Three, Four, it's cardio too. Five, six, seven, we're working our sexy. Eight, let's do it. Nine, keep it going, come on, come on. Ten, you got it. Five more, one, these are tough. Two, you know no baby workouts here. Three, four, last one, five. Awesome, good job. Two more times, I'll see you for circuit number three. Do some back rows. I'm gonna turn my back to you guys. I'm gonna, what I did, I put my band, I hooked it on a door again. Let's see, and we're gonna row. We're gonna put our feet about hip width apart, and we're gonna row that back. I want you to really get tension on your band and row it. Feel that squeeze in your back, all right? We're gonna do 20 and we're gonna do it at a quick pace so we get our cardio in. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, really squeeze it. Six, seven, that's it. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, come on. 14, I'm watching you. 15, 16, 17, 18, really squeeze it. 19 and 20. All right, great. The next exercise you can either do whoop, with a kettlebell or a weight. I'm gonna show you how to do it with both. I like doing it with the kettlebell, but if you don't have one, no problem. All right, it's a plie squat. I'm gonna back up here. So our feet are pointed out. We're gonna be working the inner thigh. You're gonna take your weight or kettlebell, squat down, you're coming up, you give it a little twist, and you do an overhead press. Squat down, overhead, okay? This is an eight pound, but I'm bumping mine up to 15 pound, all right? Let's do it, here we go. Squat down, overhead, squat down, Overhead. I don't want you leaning forward. Think of a nice line going through your body, keeping you nice and straight. Let's go. Five. Really feel the inner thigh stretch. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. You got it. 11, I love this move, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right, we're working our lower body, we're working our core, 
We're working our shoulder and we're getting our cardio in. Two more times, everybody. Meet me for circuit number four, our last circuit, while we're getting our sexy on. All right. Okay, everybody, this is our last circuit, circuit number four. We're gonna be working triceps and some abs to finish this off. I've got two weights. They're going over my head. I'm actually gonna turn sideways. We're gonna do some tricep extensions. Elbows are gonna be close to your head, and we're just going up and down, keeping that core really tight. Feet are planted on the floor. Okay, ready? Here we go for 15. One. Two, three, get that stretch in the triceps. Four, bring them all the way up. Five, I'm gonna peek on you, there you go. Six, again, we're working our core. Seven, it's gotta stay nice and tight. Eight, nine, ten, five more, everyone, come on. One. Two, three, four, and five. All right, put one of those weights down. The next, the weight is going over your head. Feet are hip width apart, and we're just going. We're doing some ab side bends. But the secret here is when we're on, leaning to the side, pulling up with those abs. Don't pull from your upper body, really focus I'm pulling up and feeling your abs. All right, here we go. Ready? One. This is gonna build up strength. Two. See, I'm not going fast. Three. I'm really feeling it. Four. Five. You got it. Six. Don't rush it. Seven is going to work your back, too. Eight. I only give you guys exercises that I do. Nine, because I know they work. Ten. Eleven. Make that mind-muscle connection. Twelve. Fifteen, that's right. Thirteen. Fourteen. And 15. Awesome. You're going to do that circuit two more times. This is a great workout. I try to show you how you can do it at home. And you can also take this into the gym. So there's no reason why you can't work out at home or in the gym. Okay? So, with that being said, you guys did awesome. You know I love you. Oh, my necklace is on backwards. And um, thank you for being with me today. I've got lots more videos coming. I took a break, but I'm back in action. Go visit my website, lauralondonfitness.com. I've got lots of great exercise videos, cooking. If you wanna work with me one-on-one, -on -one, we can work one-on-one. -on -one. You can go also check out my eBooks. I've got a whole bunch of eBooks there for you guys. If you need some guidance and you wanna work by yourself and with me, Whatever it is, we can get it done to get you fit. All right? Be fit and fabulous at any age, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.